first time I'm ever here. I'm meeting some people here. Uh huh. So well, they, well, they, well, we're asking. I mean, are, are you a Christian? Abortion? What's yeah. that? Are we what? Are they pro-abortion? No, they're pro-life. We're not pro-life, sir. We're abolitionists. We believe that abortion should be ruled by God and it should be outlawed and murder well, for what, what it I'm is. Saying. Are these people? Are these people pro-abortion? No, they're pro-life. Okay, then. We're abolitionists, sir. Pro-life's people treat abortion like it's health care. They seek to regulate it. These people are pro-life? Yes, they're pro-life. And they're a church? Yeah. And, and that's why I'm asking you, sir, what exactly does your Christianity look like in a Holocaust? See, like lots of people say, well, those Nazi Christians were really bad. They should have helped those Jews. But instead, they turned their music up louder. Yeah. What well, does your Christian... I, I have, like I said, I have never been here before. I got invited by yeah. uh, friends. Yeah, this is a pro-life church, sir. And we're calling them to uh, repent. You know, last year, did you know that we had a bill here in Texas that would have made abortion illegal and it would have treated it as murder? HB 948. Well, it didn't, it didn't pass. Though. Well, that's because nobody supported it. Yeah. That's because the church doesn't want to treat abortion like murder. That's because 65% of Christians have murdered their children. Is this like a non-denominational? Non this is a Christian church. No, no, no. But if they're you know, non-denominational. Non-denominational. No, I th actually, I think they're Baptist, but I'm not sure. I can't believe it, though. They're pro Most churches are pro-life, sir. That's why in front of a church calling people to repent, you see three people. When God's church should be rising up. Usually pro-life means they're anti-abortion. That is. They are. They, they seek to regulate it. That's what pro-life is. It treats it as health care. It says, it's oh, you can't keep children, you can't kill children it's after not, 20 it's weeks. Not it's not. It is murder. And if you look at it as God looks at it, you'll treat it as God treats yeah. it. Yeah, but I think you're getting your terms wrong. When somebody's pro-life, they are anti-abortion. No, that's not true, sir. That's not, believe me, I've been in this ministry very long. But that, 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 that's my understanding of it. Okay, a pro-lifer thinks that they can donate $20 to the CPC and they've fulfilled what Christ commands. But Christ commands that you rescue those that are being taken away to slaughter, to be a voice for the voiceless, to defend them. Yes, yeah, 60 million. Over 60 million. Yeah. Because they only count the ones that are surgically killed. They don't count the ones that are killed by pill. And they don't count the ones in states where it's not required to like California, New York, Florida, the top three. All right, and they don't count, and they don't count the, the plan B's that you can purchase at Walgreens and Walmart and CVS. And they don't count all the children killed in the IVF procedure. I don't know what that is. In, in vitro fertilization. Okay, do you know for every baby that's conceived in yeah, in vitro fertiliz fertilization, 18 of them die? 18? that many? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was like six. But yeah, no. Even so. And the ones that aren't killed, that are stay frozen, they either donate them to science or they throw them in the garbage or somebody I adopts know. them. I, I didn't have any idea, but I'm not, I'll, I will not make a donation today. Though. I already wrote them a check. I'm going to rip it up. Okay, uh, that's no, not, thank you, man. that's not the, my, no, that's no, not no. The, I don't, you know, you, I, I, I don't want them to continue if they're, I mean, I've, I've been looking, I've been here eight years. I've been looking for a church for eight years. Every time I go to one of these things, they're either really politically correct or they're into entertainment. Yeah. So I don't, you know, so I don't stay. I don't like yeah. it. See, this is a very pro-life church, but I, I hate to tell you, if you live in the Frisco area, you're not going to find any church that's willing to stand up and do what's right. Not one church in Frisco supported HB 948. Well, what about... Uh, uh, Gateway, they've got a, a thing here. Right? Gateway, well, Gateway's, they're not even biblical, to tell you the truth. Um, but Gateway's got a TV, uh, got a TV church. Yeah. yeah, we stood out in front of their church for two months. They had people come out, take our signs, and throw them in the sewer. One guy came out and assaulted my friend. And these are people that are in the ministry. Ushers. Yeah, that's Gateway. But you're more than welcome to worship with us. We 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 do home fellowship. I teach. I'm a pastor, and we we uh, meet in Little Elm on Sunday night. Oh no, they they hire the cops to do their security.
These are off-duty cops. Well, I used to be a member of New Life Church in Colorado. They had a shooting there. I was, I was a, a, an usher there. Uh -huh. And uh, it was it was like one day when I just didn't go. I was like, it was, it, it was really odd. Because uh, I had been sick for a couple of weeks. I hadn't been. And I just said, okay, I'm going to give it one more week. And that's when they had the shooting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I, you know, I'd say I'd say listen to the message well, if, if I, the message is good, which I'm pretty yeah, sure it would if be. I if I weren't meeting, I have a friend who's, who's basically dying of, of pancreatic cancer. Uh -huh. So I mean, I, I'm here for him more, more than yeah. But else. you know, we're here to call Christians to actually do instead of call themselves to be the church instead of be Christian. Yeah, walk the walk. There you go. Jesus said we're supposed to die to self and live for him. Pick up our cross and follow him. And we ask people, what does that look like? And most people say it means going to church. No. Yeah, well. That's, that's, that's only a start. That's, that's only fellowship. That's not, that's not, that's not walking at all. Anyway, man, I appreciate your information. Okay. Here, not, let me give you a... I will not make it. This one here is also on birth control and IVF and stuff like that. Yeah, because I didn't know about. I, I knew that they. I knew that they lost some of the the, the embryos. I didn't realize it was eighteen for every yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a huge amount. Huh. Anyway. Yeah. When you talk about the six, you're talking about the six they implant, and then they selectively reduce. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, that's, that's where you lose five or six. Yeah. Okay, because they implant like eight. You know. I didn't realize. But they, did that. they all they start with 20 then they pick out like the best five or six implant those and then when those are all growing then they remove the one they pick the best one and they remove the rest it's the truth and that's supported by the church read the literature it's like the it's exactly like it god bless you thank you for stopping and talking with me yeah, we're just Christians that are standing up and doing what we're supposed to do. Thank you.